Hey guys, it's Natalie here. I'm here today to film my February favourites. I have got a whole lot of stuff in here. It's a little basket right in front of me. I'm going to jump straight into it because there's a lot of stuff here. I also haven't really been filming a lot recently because I just have been so incredibly tired. I go to film and I just wake up with a lounge three hours later. I'm like, whoa, what just happened? I've been really, really tired. I've had been sick. My kids have given me sore throats and I've been sick last week and I just have not had the right time to come up and film. I was going to say right now I'm going to go through this really really quickly. If I feel like, if I look like I'm in pain I've got a toothache coming back again and that's just sort of playing on the back of my mind right here right now and I can't really close my mouth fully because it really really hurts when I close my mouth. So with that all said I'm here today to film my favourite so let's just get into it because I've got a fair few things, fair few quite a few things here for the month of February. So the first favourite here I'm going to talk about is my Moroccan oil hair treatment. This is the original one. Um, I also use a light one, whatever. If it's got Moroccan oil, oil on it, I will most probably use it and my hair will like it. My hair is, um, I don't really, think, I'm, I'm trying to hide it. It is just a, see look at this, this is how dry and feral my hair is at the moment. I'm thinking I just need to get a whole lot ch chopped off. Um, that's a different story. Um, Moroccan oil, I will put it in when my hair is wet. Um, after I wash my hair and condition it, I will get out of the shower and put this in there. And then it just dry. when it dries, it just sort of tames my hair a bit. It's not as frizzy as it would be if I don't didn't put it in. I don't I do not heat style heat dry my hair. I will always let my hair dry naturally. The problem with that is it is so long and so thick. It can take, you know, easily a day for me to dry my hair completely and one thing I like about this it doesn't weigh my hair down it doesn't leave my hair feeling like it's got oil on it when it has dried I can also apply it to dry hair as well and it just soaks right in like instantly love it holy grail stuff I'm almost half a bottle left so um this will this will yeah I'll need to repurchase this one in a month or two because I just I love it love 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 Moroccan oil cannot talk enough about it another hair product that I have been so loving and so glad I picked it up is the Paul Mitchell it is the Paul Mitchell hot off the press sorry this is a heat protectant slash hairstyler slash hairspray for me when I do a GHD curl in my hair I will curl my hair um, and then by the time I've actually done the the top layer, the bottom ones have completely dropped out. When I'm curling my hair, I spray each strand of hair. I just punch myself in the face. When I'm curling my hair, I spray each strand of hair that I'm curling before I curl it with this, if that makes sense. And it holds the curl. It holds the curl all night, overnight, and the next day you can still see a defined curl in my hair. Love this stuff. Stuff. So glad I've got it. Um, I have got a website you can get this from in Australia with a 5% discount code. I'm going to link that below if you are all interested in getting it. So glad I got it. Okay, the biggest thing I'm going to show you is the um, a few of my favourite things. I have been loving this palette. It is just a really, really nice palette. It was from the Too, Cra Too Craced Too Faced Christmas Collection. It is a palette of eyeshadows. It has got also cheek colours and bronzers. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you've seen it before. I haven't done a review on this because it is limited edition, but if you would like me to do a review on it, um, I'll do it on my blog with swatches and stuff. Let me know. If you want me to do it, um, let me know because I'm happily to do it. I'm happily, I will happily do it. Um, I really love this. It's got a really nice selection of neutral shades, shimmery and matte. Um, the one shade I don't like is Moon on Their Wings. It is so chunky. I wore this the other day and I looked at myself in the mirror about lunchtime and I had glitter fallout all down here. Like, it looked like I had just been attacked by the glitter fairy and it was not cute. Every other shade in the palette, though, is amazing. Uh, some of my favourite ones, Tinsel is this absolutely gorgeous shimmery green colour, like, Oh my god, amazing. Honey Honey is beautiful. Um, Coquette, really, really gorgeous. As you can see, very, very shimmery, pigmented, um, really fantastic. Look at the swatch of that one. That was just seriously one touch, one swipe. Amazing. Love this. I've been loving these cheek colours as well. This one in particular is one that I've really, really been liking. And the Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer is actually dark enough for me to contour with. So I've been really, really loving this eyeshadow palette. Another hair product here that I haven't uh, mentioned. And let me just get the hair out of it. Not that there's much. Tangle Teaser. I have been introduced to the Tangle Teaser. I don't know why it took me this long to find a Tangle Teaser. But in the last month, I've been, I just clicked one day. I was on the internet and I just clicked... 
I want a Tangle Teaser. So I was Googling it and I found a place that I can buy it and I thought I ordered it but it just didn't arrive and I checked and I didn't actually order it. And then I was walking down uh, the Balmain shops and I walked past a hairdresser that had these in the window and I'm just like, I need to get this in my life. I think so. it was about $39, $29, maybe $39, I don't know, but it is amazing. Oh my God, because my hair has just been so bleh and it's quite damaged because I got the ombre in my hair recently, um, last year. I haven't wanted to... I just don't want to break my hair when I don't have to. I love this because I can use it when my hair is wet, which is when the time when I really, really want my want to brush my hair, but I kind of can't because I don't want to damage it. This is amazing, and it just goes through your hair so easily. You don't feel at your hair pulling at all when it's got knots. And then one other reason I've been really loving this, I'm going to get another one, is my children will let me brush my their hair with it. Like my my kids will not let me come near them with a hairbrush. Get this out and they're just like oh that feels really nice oh it's such a good thing if you have got really long really long thick kind of hair try one of these out because it is just a life changer okay enough about my hair going on to more makeup type things foundations i have been using an interesting combination um nars nars foundations i love them this is syracuse this is medium dark wine this is the light. darkest shade you can get here in australia which sucks and annoys me to no end because it's not looked dark enough for me in summer. This one here is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. Sheer Glow Sheer Matte. Go figure. I got this one as a complete accident when I was in America. Um, you may have heard this story if you saw my reviews on my haul. Um, but this is Medium Dark 3 and this is Medium Dark 1. I've actually been mixing these together so I've sort of been getting a NARS Sheer Matte Glow Foundation and it has been working so well on my skin. The colour is fantastic. They're both just really, really nice and lightweight, adds a good texture, not overly thick, which are what I really don't like, thick foundations in the summertime especially. And the colour's just been really, really nice so I have been loving these two. This is actually almost running out. It annoys me, you cannot see how much is left. Like, you can't see. I'm thinking there may only be this much left, but I don't know. But it is starting to not squirt out not all the time. So, um, have to get another one of them. But these two together is actually really good. And the finish, my skin must be going, what the hell's wrong with this foundation? Because I've sort of mixed a glowy one and a matte one. But it just works really well, and I've been really loving that combination. The next thing I've been using for my face is my Sleek Face Contour Kit. And I have been loving this. This one is, again, holy grail status. Out of all my contours, out of all my highlight products, this has always been one that I will always, always, always go to. The day I hit pan on this, I will be doing a blog post purely on the fact that I hit pan on this. Because I don't think it's ever going to run out. I love this. It is the perfect shade. This is medium and it's actually dark enough for me. So what I like about the Sleek products is they are catered for darker skin tones, which is why I like it so much. This is fantastic. The highlighter is actually what I've got on my cheekbones right now. It's just the perfect shimmer. It's not too pink. It's not too gold. It is just absolutely gorgeous. That right there. Really, really gorgeous. Love it. And it's only like $9.95, I think. Um, so really good bargain as well moving on to eyes the eyeshadow base that i have been liking i've been loving and which is really surprised to me is one from sigma this is the unveil eyeshadow base it is like a shimmery kind of goldy shade i was really skeptical about these when i first got them in fact i had them for about four months before i even bothered using them because i just i've got my paint pots i've got my maybelline color tattoos i don't really know why i bought this but i just wanted to try it compared to the other two for me, the Maybelline colour tattoos, they do crease on me. This does not crease on me at all. It is right up there comparable to the MAC colour, um, MAC pa uh, paint pots if you ask me. Cream colour bases, really, really nice colour, blends really nicely. I've got this on my eyelids underneath my eyeshadow today and it just doesn't crease. I didn't have a primer on underneath it so it is just all this and I've been really, really liking these. These Sigma um, eyeshadow bases are just really, really, really good. And eyeshadows that I have been really liking as well as that palette is this eyeshadow duo from NARS. This is the Kuala Lumpur palette um, duo. I picked this one up, these ones up a couple of weeks ago. I just walked past Mako and I just walked out with a couple of NARS eyeshadow duos. I haven't really used a lot of NARS eyeshadows to be perfectly honest. I did get the Narcissus palette and that will come up in review later on. But I've been really liking these shades. This is sort of like a goldy, pinky, sort of rosy, sort of light gold colour. It comes off more gold than pink on my skin tones. And this is like a really sort of gorgeous plummy shade with gold sparkle. This is the only thing I've got on my eyes at the moment. I've got the gold on the lid on top of that Sigma base. And I've just got the purple into the outer V um, and just sort of blending into the crease just a tad. Really well. And I've actually been using this quite a lot. I was really surprised how much I've been using that one as well. So definitely definitely like that one for eyeliner this month I've sort of been trying to avoid 
I'm going to try something different. I'm not doing the just use the usual liner on the top of my eyelid. I'm actually doing a lot of tight lining my eyelids. I just find it's opening my eyes up just a little bit, giving me a bit more lid, lid space to play with. And it's not making the line really, really thick on my top lashes. I've just been putting it onto the top and bottom waterlines. And for that, I've been using my MAC Chroma Graphic Pencil in Black Black. Why they call it Black Black, I don't know. Why they don't just call it Black. Who knows? I like this because it is really, really pigmented and just really, really soft, smooth and creamy. I don't really like go, putting a pencil too close to, like doing the top waterline really freaks me out. So I like a pencil that just applies like a dream without having to go back and forward too much because I'm just scared I'm going to poke my eye out and I'm going to go blind. So I just like this because you just really, really light touch and it puts a lot of pigmentation on that top waterline. It stays quite a while as well, so I've been really, really loving that. Another pencil I've been using a lot, and this is one from Eye of Horus, and this is their newer one of their newer colours in the um, Goddess pencil, and this one is in the colour blue. And this is just a really, really nice aqua blue with sort of like a purple duochrome through it. It's such a such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I've been really liking this. It reminds me a little bit like a Urban Decay one that I might need to do a swatch comparison with, but it is just stunning. If I've been using and sort of doing a matte neutral eye look and I just want to vamp it up a little bit more, I will just put this on my bottom waterline and bottom lash line, smudge it out, and it just really, really transforms that look, and I've been really, really loving the effect this has. These eyeliners from Eye of Horus as well stay on your waterline for so long like they will dry after about 30 seconds and they will not move the entire day that I've worn these they do not budge mascara that I have been using no surprise Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I've tried a few other mascaras over the last month or so and this one still remains to my absolute holy grail not going to talk too much about it. I've done a full review of this one including a demonstration we'll link that below go and check it out the best mascara I have ever used in my entire life that's all I'm going to say about that one a couple of brushes that I have rediscovered this month and I just cannot believe I have been this long without them are these two brushes. When I say rediscovered I was going through my stuff and I found a little bag and I opened it up and said what's in here? There's a whole lot of brushes that I thought I'd lost. These two are hands down some of my favourite brushes. This is the MAC 239 and the OCC something something number something small blendy tapered blending brush basically this is what they look like this is dirty i've used them both today so excuse the mess this mac 239 is just so soft it is just packs on eyeshadow amazingly well it's soft enough to put eyeshadow under your lash line which is what i use today and this occ brush again small tapered blending brush which is what i use today to apply this color in my outer corner small enough to get small enough to apply eyeshadow out there, blend it out without fanning it out too much. Really, really love this brush. OCC brushes are actually my favourite synthetic brushes that I've used of all time. I really like them. They hold their shape really well, blend like a dream, apply nicely. Um, I, I'll have to look up what brush this is. It is just the small tapered blending brush or something like that. I don't actually know what it's called. Before I move on to lips, I'm going to talk about the favourite perfume that I have been using. This is the Katy Perry Oh So Sheer. This one was sent to me um, a couple of, uh, earlier in February. I got this one and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. Before I got this, I was actually about to go out and purchase the full bottle of the oh, Katy, Perry, Katy Perry Killer Queen because I got that sample in her fashion box and I have absolutely loved it. I've just, it was one of those scents that I smelt it once and I just thought, oh my God, I need this in my life. And this one is just, it's just like the original Killer Queen, but it's just ever so lighter. It's just a little bit lighter and it's so much, it's really fresh and oh my God, I freaking love this. I, I cannot, I, I can't describe it. I've done a full review of this one also, I'll link that one below. Katy Perry, Killer Queen, oh so sheer. Check it out, or check out Killer Queen if you like a bit more of the richer kind of fragrances, but still really sweet. Okay, moving on to lips. Um, a few new lip products that I have been using this month. Wow, there's a lot of lip products I've been using this okay, month. Okay, first of all, um, OCC Colour Cosmetic Pencils. These are used for face, lips, eyes, or whatever. A few of them for eyes. Don't think of them for eye pencils, think of them more for lip pencils. These are amazing. I have absolutely fallen in love with them. I've got a whole lot of them. I'll do a haul video or a review, no, swatch post. I've done something about the OCC pencils. I'll link that below as well. I've got to write down all these things I have to link. This color here is Hoochie and this is a gorgeous kind of magenta 
purpley kind of shade really really nice I've been using that one a lot and this color here is Penny Royal and it seems like a bit of a nothing shade it's a bit of a brown but I've actually been pairing that one up with Lime Chrome's Coquette lipstick which to me is a little bit too light for my skin coloring to get away as a nude but if I put this underneath, it is perfect because it just sort of darkens it up just the tiniest, tiniest amount. But now that I've got this pencil and I wear it with Coquette, I've been loving it, love the combination, and it's just a really, really nice pencil. Love these OCC pencils. They are, of course, OCC, vegan, cruelty-free, 100%, all that kind of stuff. And two lip products that I'm also going to mention, these are also new in the market. These are from Ultra 3, and now I have never been... I've never really used Ultra 3. I was actually sent these ones as well, and... Um, not being paid for this this is actually my opinion I'm wearing it today this is what I've been wearing I've got this one on here which is manic mauve um, they are just really really opaque li liquid lipsticks basically um, they come with a doe foot applicator I'm just gonna swatch this one on the back of my hand like look at that one swipe this is the color I've got on today as I said manic mauve I have done I've just uploaded today a full lip swatches review of all the colors of the collection I'm gonna link that below as well I wore this one today the manic mauve um, again I put my makeup on about nine o'clock this morning and uh, I've looked in the mirror at about three um, that's after drinking coffees and stuff throughout the day and it had barely moved there was a little bit of wear and tear but the color was mostly still on my lips and I was actually blown away by how good it was for $5.95. Ultra 3, as I was saying, is a brand I've never even considered looking at because I guess it is just so budget. But these have completely changed my mind about them. They do come in six other colors. So these, are the, these are the two colors that I've been liking. This one is Manic Mauve and this one here is Extreme Pink. I like this Extreme Pink one because it is just slightly, it's, a, it's like a light pink, but it is actually dark enough for my skin tone without looking too Barbie-ish and too, I can't think of the word to describe that nicely. But you know that look when you've got really sort of baby pink lips and it's just too light for you and it's just, yeah horrible it is dark enough for me to wear and I've really been enjoying that one so these are the two shades I've been enjoying as I said there's six colors in the collection I'll link my lip swatch um, post below well well worth checking out for $5.95 you cannot go wrong with these I have fallen in love with them which is a complete complete surprise the next two lipsticks are now we're going into the high-end lipstick products um, the first one here is my Rouge for Lupt lipstick it is number nine really, um, I think I may have mentioned this in a favorites recently that is the colour there. It's kind of like a mauvey, pinky, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Like, oh my god. I've just been really loving this. I love the finish. I love the colour. And, you know, I go and look look over look over my Instagram feed and I look at a colour and I'm like, wow, what is on my lips? Because I really love it. It's always been this shade. The next lip product I've got here is one from Bite Beauty. This is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Rhubarb. This is one of those windy, uppy kind of retractable lip pencils. Um, Bite Beauty is a brand that I have been absolutely loving. Let me just put that in the middle there. Can you kind of see a popular colour here? Anyway, I've been really liking this because I said I've just been really sort of flat and blur. I sort of just do a really, really light face um, and I've just been putting this on my lips. It just sort of adds the perfect colour. Oh, really, really nice, creamy, smooth, pigmented. I just, I've been loving, loving, loving that pencil. Like so much and now that I've seen these three this seems to be the color of the month for me so that wraps up my February favorites I hope you enjoy that I hope it's not too long and rambling because I kind of feel like it was but I'm gonna go now and edit that if you have any comments or questions as always please leave it in the comment bar below if you have any video requests let me know if you want to see reviews individual reviews on any of these products let me know which one first I'll have all the videos and posts that I mentioned linked below anyway go check out those older three lip paints fan fantastic like product of the month for me i think i've just been absolutely blown away by them but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye